Can you believe these people are actually roaming around our planet? Like this crazy mofo who likes to use hair dye on his pets. I need to do this to my pit bull. He'd look sweet. No, but seriously, I think all the dye this guy used must be going to his head. He looks like Jerry Garcia's little brother got into a fight in a spray paint can section of Home Depot. I've never been known to turn down Doritos, but I don't know if I like him as much as this guy. I bet he can just spill the MSG seeping into his veins. Glorious cheesy goodness. Check out this bus patron who appears to be wearing the fur of a Wookiee. Do you have any Star Wars fans as subscribers? I wonder how many squirrels she's killed to make this monstrosity. Wait, is she wearing spandex? You really have to ask yourself, does a carpet match the drapes? There's really nothing worse than finding old pictures of yourself capturing how your mom used to dress you. But after seeing this poor little guy's cheetah getup, I think we all made out all right. The lady in this photo can't even match her top and bottoms. Get your cheetah game together, mamacita. Everybody knows leopard spots only go with leopard spots. If this lady thinks any harder, her boots might blow up and kill everyone in the stadium. If I ever move back to Texas, I think I'll have to call for a good old witch burning. It shouldn't be hard. With that much hairspray, you only need a lighter. Holy cat lady, Batman. Will the real cat woman please stand up? I guess if you eat too much meow mix, it can lead to questionable decision making. Like this lady who thought the time was right for a kitty jamboree coat. The only comforting thing about this is that she didn't make the coat out of 30 dead cats. You know, the ones that are probably under her couch. If I don't take my computer screen for walks every now and again, he acts up. This lady apparently can't wait for the flat screen to come out. If that thing still exists today, it's probably used as a paperweight. Or more likely, uh, a wrecking ball. Hey, seriously, someone should tell her that those things don't whiten your teeth. All right, all right, all right. Who here likes cheesy humor? Ready? What do you call cheese that is sad? Blue cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. When should you go on a cheese diet? Mm -hmm. If you need to cheddar a few pounds? Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right. One more, one more. When should you keep an eye on your cheese? Anybody, anybody? When it's up to no Gouda. Yeah. I bet this woman likes cheesy humor. She's straight up eating a block of cheese. And to top it off, she has Cheez-Its in her bag. Well, at least someone decided to snap a photo. Say, cheese? We've all seen our share of strange hair. I feel like she should be in a shampoo commercial for volumizing conditioner. Or would that be a conditioner commercial? Well, you know what they say though, the, the bigger their hair, the quicker they fall, or something like that. This insane photo is of Adam Spencer. The 23-year-old almost died during a trip to Peru with his new fiance. It was a flesh-eating parasite that was spread from a simple sandfly bite in the Amazon. Luckily, he was able to return to America and get treatment that took 21 more days to fight off the parasite. Take this guy planking a McDonald's sign, for instance. There was a time when you couldn't get on social media without seeing your friends planking on something. Well, probably safer up there than eating the food in the restaurant down below. Is this some new alien child cult? No, these poor kids actually have a rare skin disease and fortunately they're able to treat it with a special UV light. I couldn't help but pull out my cell phone and film this guy. These might be the brightest booty shorts I have ever seen. I'll have to get this guy in the studio for next week's video. This guy was born with his twin brother inside of his stomach. Can you imagine having a clone of yourself living inside your belly? This rare medical condition is called fetus in fetu. They thought he had a tumor. It's not a tumor! It's not a tumor! But when they cut into him, he spilled out a bunch of fluid and body parts. That's nasty, bro. The Target Channel takeover is still American Eye, which now has over 70,000 subscribers. I gotta admit it, I was a little discouraged when they blew up and made the Target nearly unreachable. Well, we're at around 13K subscribers a day, and it's time for a video upload spree to try to close the gap. Holy Sarah Palin fan! Personally, I would wear a shirt with Tyrion Lannister on it. I wonder if this lady actually paid for this shirt. I guess when you're a fan, you're a fan. America! It's important to remember that when picking out a Halloween costume, that the mouth is accessible. 
That way, you can still be the creepiest guy at the Halloween party and manage to sip your rum and coke. Can you believe that this thing is eight inches wide? It's called a lip plate, it's a type of body modification. This custom only exists in Africa and some parts of the Amazon. Dude, do you wanna smoke a bowl? Those eyes look a little red to me. And no, and not to my eyes. Congrats to Zachary for being the first to guess the author of last video's quote challenge. Yes, it was Ansel Adams. Here's the next quote. Everything happens to everybody sooner or later if there is time enough. Do you know who said this? All right, pop quiz. How many rings are on this lady's neck? I counted 21. I wonder how many years it takes to reach this level of deep throat. This little guy has progeria, a rare genetic disorder which makes you age quickly and grow a huge forehead. Most people that have this disorder rarely live to be over 20. I wonder if they'll ever find a cure for it. I don't know if I'm disturbed or jealous, but either way, I'm definitely impressed. If only I could grow any chest there, hmm, what would I shave into it? This baby was born with a vestigial tail, which is not as uncommon as you think. I wouldn't mind having a tail. I hear they're good for balance, and my neighbor's dog seem to like his. So last week, I asked you guys to comment on this picture, and the two caption winners are Dynamite TV and Toby the Tuba. And I say, hey, I may be wasted, but I can tell that that spoonful of Food is no airplane. And if it were, why would I be any more compelled to eat it? That baby has the trait of his dad. He's Irish, drunk, and doesn't know what happened last night. Congrats, you guys have both been added to the top of my feature channel page. Cosplay can be cool if done well, but it's always risky when you get the kid from your AP math class to dress up for Comic-Con with you. Say hello to Puberty Zelda. This is our next caption contest photo. When Deepak was born, he was born attached with a parasitic twin, giving him eight appendages. He was shunned for years by his peers who thought he was evil. Luckily though, someone covered the very expensive operation, and now his twin has been removed. What's crazy is when he had the twin, it actually kept growing with him. The come over might be the weirdest thing old men do. If I ever get to this point, I'm shaving it off. Could this man actually become the next president of the United States? Who am I supposed to vote for? And now, the last strange human photo of the day. Well, hot diggity damn! I always thought if someone ate 100 Happy Meals in one sitting, they'd be depressed. I can't tell if this tattoo is real or not. 